After learning about squares and square roots, in this part of the discussion, we will be seeing how to find out cube of a given number. But before that, let me tell you, it is a minimum requirement that 1 to 15 cubes are available on your fingertips. So you should make sure that you remember up to 15 cubes by heart. Now here we have all the 15 cubes starting from 1. Let's just go through them and also understand the pattern of units place. Now we know that 1 cube is 1, 2 cube is 8, 3 cube is 27, 4 cube is 64, 5 cube is 125 and so on up to 15 cubes. So this is minimum what we are supposed to remember by heart. Before we understand the procedure of finding out cubes, let us understand what is the pattern of units place. This units place pattern will be helpful in finding out cube roots. Now here as you can see from 1 to 10 cubes, the only number which ends with 1 here is 1. So when a number ends with 1, we can say that its cube root also ends with 1. Likewise in case of 1, 3, 3, 1, when a number is ending in 1, its cube root again ends with 1. If 11 cube is 1, 3, 3, 1, cube root of 1, 3, 3, 1 is 11. So very clearly when a number ends with 1, its cube root ends with 1. Similarly, when a number ends with 8, cube root ends with 2. Here also when a number ends with 8, cube root ends with 2. Likewise, when a number ends with 7, cube root ends with 3. When number ends with 4, cube root ends with 4. When number ends with 5, cube root ends with 5. For 6, it is 6. When a number ends with 3, cube root ends with 7. When a number ends with 2, cube root ends with 8. When a number ends with 9, cube root ends with 9. And when there are 3 zeros here, cube root has to end with 1 zero. Remember in a perfect cube, we should have 3 zeros, 6 zeros or 9 zeros and so on. That means the number of zeros must be multiples of 3. Now, very clearly the pattern if you observe here is very simple when compared to the pattern of square roots. In square roots, we have found that when a number ends with 1, square root may end with 1 or 9. But in case of cube roots, when a number ends with 1, the only possibility is that cube root also has to end with 1. Similarly, when a number ends with 4, in square roots, the answer may end with 2 or 8. But in case of cube roots, when a number ends with 4, answer also ends with 4. That means cube root also ends with 4. Likewise, for 6, we have only 6 here. In case of square roots, when a number ends with 6, square root ends with 4 or 6. But here, when a number ends with 6, cube root also ends with 6. So it is very easy in case of cube roots. Why? Because we have only one possibility. And the pattern also is very simple. If you observe, for 1 we have 1. For 4 we have 4 in the unit space. 5 gives 5. 6 gives 6. 9 gives 9. And whenever we have 3 zeros, we will have a 0 in the answer of cube root. The only changes here are in case of 2, 3, 7 and 8. If you observe, when a number ends with 8, cube root ends with 2. When a number ends with 2, cube root ends with 8. Similarly, when a number ends with 7, cube root ends with 3. But when a number ends with 3, cube root ends with 7. So very clearly, 2 and 8 here is a complementary pair. That means, if number is ending in 2, cube root ends with 8. If a number is ending in 8, cube root ends with 2. Likewise, 3 and 7 also makes a complementary pair. If a number ends with 3, cube root ends with 7. Or if a number ends with 7, cube root ends with 3. Like in this case, when a number is ending in 7, cube root is ending in 3. Or when a number is ending in 8, cube root ends with 2. So simply remember that 2 and 8 and 3 and 7 makes a complementary pair. So if number ends with 2, 8. 8, 2. Similarly, 3 gives 7, 7 gives 3. Remaining all are same. 1 gives 1, 4 gives 4, 6 gives 6, 5 gives 5 and 9 gives 9. Only 2, 8, 3, 7 are interchanged. So assuming that you all know what are 1 to 15 cubes by heart, let us now see how to find out the cubes of numbers beyond 15 or how to find out cubes of larger numbers. In case of finding out squares of numbers, we have creatively used the formula a plus or minus b whole squared. That is a squared plus or minus 2ab plus b squared. So let us now see what can we do to find out cubes of numbers. Now a plus or minus b whole cube is nothing but a cube plus or minus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus or minus b cube. That means a plus b whole cube will be a cube plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cube and a minus b whole cube will be a cube minus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared minus b cube. But friends as you can see here there are four terms which have to be simplified here. So that is the reason we will avoid using the formula a plus or minus b whole cube. Remember, in case of squares, using the expansion a plus b whole square was easy. But when it comes to cubes, it is a little complicated. 
so here we better avoid usage of the basic formula now if that is not to be done then what can we do to find out cubes of the given numbers for example let's say we have to find out what is 24 cube so here i am going to explain you two different methods of finding out cubes other than using the formula now one method is the regular procedure that is find out 24 into 24 into 24 on paper and get the answer for example 24 cube is nothing but 24 squared into 24 we know that 24 squared is 576 so 24 cube can be taken as 576 into 24 and by using one of the multiplication techniques that we have discussed we can find out 576 into 24 for example we can take this as 576 and 0 to 4 and now by using the method of three digit multiplication with two digit multiplication we can quickly find out what is 24 q that is 4 into 6 24 so we get 4 in the answer and 2 is carried forward second step is cross multiplication 7 into 4 28 6 into 2 12 28 plus 12 is 40 40 and 2 is 42 so we take 2 in the answer now 4 gets carried forward the third step is extreme cross multiplication and tens place multiplication 5 into 4 20 6 into 0 0 20 plus 0 20 7 into 2 14 20 plus 14 is 34 34 plus 4 is 38 so we get 8 in answer and 3 is carried forward the next step is multiplication cross multiplication of tens place and hundreds place so 5 into 2 is 10 and this is 0 so 10 and 3 is the carry here so we get 13 1 is carried forward and the last step is multiplication of these places that is nothing but 0 0 plus 1 gives us 1 so the final answer here is 13824 that means 24 cube should be equal to 13824 so from this method we can understand that to find out x cube we should take it as x square into x x square can be calculated very easily in 3 to 4 seconds without writing anything on paper and once we get x square x square into x can be done on paper and we can very comfortably get the answer so we can say that one very easy way of finding out cubes is to work out on paper but try to do it as quick as possible so this is the first method of finding out cubes now the other method which i'm going to discuss here is again a very important technique from vedic mathematics but before i discuss this let me tell you it is not so easy to apply this for all the cubes but in some cases it is very comfortable to get the answer following these techniques so let's see what to do in case of the second method here the number is 24 we have to find out what is 24 cube the first thing that is to be observed is the ratio between the two digits here that is 2 and 4 we know that 2 is to 4 is equal to 1 is to 2 so what we do here is take the tens place 2 and write its cube what is 2 cube 8 so first step is 2 cube that is equal to 8 now once we write 8 here we need to write three more numbers in such a way that the ratio between two consecutive numbers is 1 is to 2 for example if this is 8 what can give you the ratio of 1 is to 2 here 16 then again if this is 16 what can we write here so that the ratio becomes 1 is to 2 it should be 32 and if this is 32 what should be written here so that the ratio is 1 is to 2 64 and if you observe 64 is nothing but 4 cube so the last number that we get here is nothing but units place q so the first step here is to find out the ratio between the two digits then write down the cube of the first digit that is 2 cube 8 and after that we need to write three more numbers such that ratio between two consecutive numbers is equal to the ratio that we have obtained here and when we do this we find that the last number that we get is nothing but 4 cube or that is nothing but the units place cube so very clearly we can understand that the four numbers are correct if we get the last number as units cube here if it is not units cube then somewhere we have gone wrong in taking the ratio now after writing these four numbers the next step is to double the middle two numbers that means 16 when doubled becomes 32 and 32 when doubled becomes 64 so that's the next step that is take the two numbers second number and the third number multiply with two and write it under the two numbers and now by going by addition we can get the required answer now in case of addition we need to add these vertical columns here and in every column we should take only one digit remaining part gets carried forward for example here we have only 64 so we can take 4 in the answer and 6 gets carried forward the next sum here is 32 plus 64 that is 96 96 plus 6 is 102 now 102 we take 2 in the answer and 10 gets carried forward 
again we have to add these three numbers in the third column so 10 and 16 is 26 26 and 32 is 58 so we take 8 in the answer and 5 gets carried forward and the last step here is 5 plus 8 13 so the final answer is 13824 that is as we have obtained in the previous case but remember friends this particular method is not so easy to apply in all the cases here it was easy for us because the ratio is 1 is to 2 so this method here completely depends on the ratio between the two numbers if it is convenient ratio then we can quickly write down the four numbers otherwise it takes a lot of time so if you are comfortable follow this procedure otherwise go by the regular way of finding out cubes that is nothing but x cube is equal to x square into x so friends here i've got two questions for you that is 32 cube and 67 cube and as i've already mentioned there are two ways to do this either go by the regular procedure or if you are comfortable with the second method you can follow that as well so you just try to solve these two questions and get the answers as quickly as possible your time starts now So let's see what are the correct answers for these two questions. Generally, as I've mentioned, it is better that we go for the regular procedure. So 32 cube can be taken as 32 squared into 32. 32 squared is nothing but 50 minus 18. So we get 2500 minus 1800 that is equal to 700. 700 plus 18 square is 324. So this comes out to be 1024 into 32. So now when we multiply 1024 with 32 we get the required answer and here the answer comes out to be 32768. So generally go for regular procedure and get the answer as quickly as possible. Remember you have to do the multiplication in a regular way and get the answer here. Similarly 67 cube. 67 cube can be taken as 67 squared into 67. 67 squared is nothing but 50 plus 17 whole square. So 2500 plus 1700 that comes out to be 4200. 4200 plus 17 square 289 will give us 4489. Now 4489 into 67. So when we multiply we get the answer for 67 cube and that will be equal to 300763. So this is how we can go for cubes by the regular procedure. Remember friends, the second method is not so easy to apply. So only if you are comfortable, you go for it. Otherwise, always follow the regular procedure and get the answer for cubes. 